I've heard more than one person tell me my energy's not been the same since some event. I've had children, or I can't work out since I trained for a race, or I don't seem to recover like I used to after I've worked late, um, or I keep getting sick more frequently, I just don't sleep as well. And these are classic cases of adrenal burnout or relative adrenal insufficiency. When you're pushing yourself either mentally or physically, you're exposing your body and your adrenal glands to a steady supply of stress. So if you're adrenally fatigued, you pump out just enough cortisol to keep on going. But once that stressor is taken away, the adrenal glands finally have a chance to sort of relax, decrease the cortisol stimulation, and that person's individually will crash. The adrenal gland um, function will decrease and the symptoms of adrenal fatigue will emerge. So you probably have a friend or coworker who gets sick every time um, they take a vacation or um, a student who gets an upper respiratory tract infection on every school break. Um, once the perceived stressor is eliminated, the cortisol output is diminished and this uh, therefore triggers a decrease in the amount of cortisol production through the hypothalamus and the pituitary axis. And this may be just because of the lack of stressor, may, there may be other factors that are involved in that. The exact cause is still being explored, but what we do know is that the way an individual responds to stress depends on many things. Genetics, lifestyle, even your neonatal env um, environment, um, and exactly how you've uh, learned um, to respond to stress in previous experiences, etc. Clinically, we see that these different responses in many different phases of adrenal fatigue or relative adrenal insufficiency. Some people might be pushing themselves to constantly do more and work harder, and some might actually be sleeping more than usual and retreating from normal activities. So everyone will have their own different responses. Measuring cortisol levels is the first step at successfully identifying adrenal dysfunction and adrenal um, insufficiency. Both high and low cortisol levels are associated with symptoms of adrenal burnout. So observing a patient's diurnal cortisol or the cortisol four times throughout the day is the key to accurately diagnosing this. ZRT saliva test offers four times a day sampling. And once adrenal dysfunction is diagnosed and recognized, therapies such as good sleep habits, improving nutrition for the adrenal gland, a healthy diet, decreasing stress and um, some gentle exercises are generally helpful and are recommended.